Hi, Amy. How you doing? Uh, yeah, this this is fantastic. It really is. You've you've done a fantastic job, um, and you really stuck to the, the basics here uh, uh, regarding ruling, um, rules governing the proper use and placement of the logo, the palette of corporate colors, and the description of the fonts used. So this is I, I just think this is fantastic. Now keep in mind, you know, as as we as you move along in your student career, you're going to be asked to create um, other style guides that are going to end up being a little bit more complex than this. So this is really a bare bones basic minimum uh, kind of style guide and it's a good introduction to, to how to create a style guide and I think you just nailed it. I really do. I mean the, the whole color and the, the posture and the layout really loaned themselves very well to your Guardian Network Security uh, final logo color choices and type choices. So really fantastic job there. I want to go through a couple of comments. Um, I'm fine with you selecting this this logo. I think it's I think it works perfectly fine. Um, this is a, a really nice presentation, including contents page, and then you have your introduction with this image that actually really it goes very well. The colors are perfect for uh, uh, mixing and matching with the actual logo itself and the uh, design considerations put forth in the style guides. Great job there. Good introduction. Fantastic job there. Uh, brand corporate color. Okay, RGB, CMYK. There's your color palette. Great job there. Good descriptions. Outstanding. Next page, typography. This page has, has got some weird layout. I, I'm not sure what happened here, but this layout got pushed. This typeface got pushed all the way to the left here. Also, what I would recommend doing is, is um, embedding these fonts because right now you're showing the same font in all four situations. Um, so we're not really seeing the fonts that you're, you're talking about here. So um, I would recommend that you um, embed those fonts in, 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 into your um, into this actual style guide uh, into your Word document. Um, let me see. So you know you, you know what I mean you want to show the actual fonts. Um, I think that another thing that would be really interesting to do is to take, you, you talk about the different top typeface uses. For example, you say Guardian Network Security is two different typefaces using uh, Arcade Interla Interlaced and Highland Gothic. Uh, starting at a Guardian minus the letter G using Gar Ardian, the type to, uh, create Ardian is Arcade Interlaced. So what I would do is I would take that Ardian right there, that right there, and you're talking about the typeface you use, and just show a little example right there of what you're talking about. And then the G and the other letter form, just show examples exactly of what you're talking about right there. Make sure you get that aligned. And I think it's, it's, it's yeah, that is really confusing because these are, you're showing the same typefaces. Um, also, you've got all caps here all caps, you don't have any lowercase here. Is that an all cap typeface? You have lower caps here. Yeah, here you've got your lowercase letters, but it starts with a cap A, so you wanna fix that. Good job showing your numbers. Fantastic job, okay. Um, okay, this is right here. Guardian Network Security maybe is at a minimum of 2.9 inches. Is that 2.9 inches high or 2.9 inches wide? If it's 2.9 inches wide, give the corresponding height. When that is at 2.9 inches, you're going to have a height. And I would say the height was, is going to go from the bottom of the logo to the top. I'm sorry, the bottom of the um, monogram to the top of the G. So that would be your width by your height. Um, and then over here, these look fantastic. The, the, I would present these a little bit larger in the um, actual presentation. So, I mean, this letterhead could be, you know, so we can really see exactly what it is. right now it's really difficult to see what your type says here without really getting right in there um i'm zooming right in there excuse me um and speaking of zooming right in there i want to do that because i want to see something here mm, okay so uh, we'll move forward this is fine this is absolutely fine um, I would not put a border around the, the uh, card. I would just let the card bleed off to the, the, the edge of the card. Instead of putting that border in there, I, I don't think you need it. Um, I think it combines the, the verbiage on the card. Also, moving forward into your final business card, don't forget to leave, leave a contact name on the business card itself. Right now, as you're showing it, it doesn't have one on the front or the back. You don't have to do this for your style guide. You're showing basic placement. And, and t technically, we're, we haven't even gotten into the final um design for the business card so and then over here this um this looks like it it's not the correct proportions for a, a, a um, 
letterhead. Remember, letterhead is eight and a half by 11. This is almost a square format. So check your formatting on that and, um, and then and, and adjust that accordingly. And then this is just a great touch. Really, really great touch there. Good job. Um, I'm super pleased, Amy. I'm super pleased. As a matter of fact, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to use this example um, for uh, an example of excellence for other students. Um, I've got a few students who are contacting me saying, hey, I'm really kind of confused. I don't know what to do. So I, I hope you don't mind, but this is so good. I'm going to point students to this and say, what do you do? Do this. <laughs> All right, Amy. Great job. Thank you so much.